What's going on, everybody? It's your boy QuestX. I'm coming at you with a Nicholas Walters versus Vasily Lomachenko prediction video. So you guys already know what I'm where I'm gonna go with this, right? Um, I predict that come this Saturday night, after Nicholas Walters defeats Vasily Lomachenko, we're gonna be on a massive suicide watch. Massive suicide watch. We might even see dudes off themselves here on YouTube, like straight up record that shit. Cause you know, we got one guy talking about he hates America. Fuck America for Andre Ward. We got another dude who's ranking, uh, Lomachenko as pound for pound number one. Uh, so, you know, this is a lot of, lot riding on this fight for a lot of these cats out here. Okay. A lot of dudes on YouTube are mentally unstable and, uh, you know, for me, I'm going to sit back, get my popcorn, and watch that shit happen. So, let's get to the fight itself. A lot of people want to point out the attributes of Vasily Lomachenko. Uh, the speed, the footwork, um, the, amateur, the deep amateur pedigree. But, I'm going to keep it real. I think none of that will matter come Saturday night. I think what will matter is professional experience. I think that this is going to be a fight where professional experience outweighs amateur experience and I know a lot of people want to say he's gotten better since the Orlando Salido fight which yes he has cleaned some things up but I think what something that Vasily Lomachenko will never be able to outrun he cannot handle pressure and he's not very good under pressure and I think the biggest thing that we're probably going to see is you're going to see a guy who as Nicholas Walters comes on, he's going to revert to the amateur style of trying to win on points. Pop, 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 in and out. Pop, 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 in and out. Pop, 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 in and out. The problem is going to be with that is that Nicholas Walters is also a highly intelligent boxer. Boxer puncher, I think he's second to none. A lot of people want to overlook that and say that he's just nothing but brute force. And I think that's your downfall. Another thing that's also irking me about this fight and where I'm thinking this is coming to be the perfect storm, I've watched the interviews from Vasily Lomachenko. He's extremely, extremely confident. You got Bob Arum on the circuit talking about Vasily Lomachenko versus Manny Pacquiao. Already overlooking um, our, our boy, the Axeman. And here's the thing. The Axeman, he just has that look. It was the same exact look that Andre Ward had, and I kept trying to sell people prior to the fight. Andre Ward was dialed in. No matter what would happen, he's going to overcome it. I kept trying to tell people, Nicholas Walters has that same look. And I think it's because Nicholas Walters, like many of us here in the LDBC know, we know that Nicholas Walters is being fucked over and has been fucked over by Bob Arum from the get-go, okay? He was not supposed to be as good as he is. And Bob Arum has shitted on him continuously in promotion and even promoting himself. So you got the combination of Vasily Lomachenko's overconfidence, the combination of Bob Arum already overlooking. See, what you got is a bigger version of Guillermo Rikindiao and as per Bob Arum's position on promoting him. I don't know if anybody in the comment section can let me know what is uh, Nicholas Walters contract situation look like with Bob Arum. But the thing about Nicholas Walters is I've, I continuously keep calling him. He's a throwback old school pressure fighter. All right. It's not about the first and second punch. It's about the third and fourth one for Nicholas Walters. He throws to hurt you. He throws to put you away. But he's also intelligent. He makes adjustments. He knows how to sneak that uppercut in. Like, I, I'm telling you, one of my favorite punches from Nicholas Walters is the uppercut. That boy has a vicious, lightning-quick uppercut that he sets up using boxing intelligence to do so. I think that he is going to pressure Vasily Lomachenko, smart, effective pressure. I believe that he's going to use that piston jab, that freaky, freakish reach. And I think that what you're going to see around five or six. Now, listen, if you don't want to listen to me, I, I called the Ward situation. I said after third, fourth round, you would see Ward 
start to distance himself, start to get understand, get back and in, get into a rhythm. What did he do? You saw that fight. I'm calling it now. Fifth, sixth round. Vasily Lomachenko, after tasting the power and feeling the size, I think you're going to start seeing it. the reality set in to, once again, HBO, and once again, you haters here on YouTube who don't know shit about boxing, because I know a lot of people want to say that, yeah, he's got great rhythm and he's got great... All this about Lomachenko. We're about to find out how great it is. So, as per Quest X, my prediction, I have 10th round TKO stoppage or, or Nicholas Walters knocks Vasily Lomachenko down in the 8th, 7th, 8th round and he will win by split decision. It's your boy Quest X. I am out. Peace.